Hello everyone, TJ McFarland here, left-handed reliever for the Arizona Diamondbacks. A little bit about myself, I'm from Chicago, grew up just outside of Chicago, got drafted out of high school. First came up with Cleveland, bounced to Baltimore, and then luckily find myself here with Arizona, which has been fantastic. Typically, a normal day is me trying to find some uh, golf partners. I try to usually find a foursome. We actually have a really good team of golfers. Surprisingly, everybody's around a 10 handicap, and I get beat on the golf course essentially every single time. My dad loved playing golf, and Growing up, we didn't live in a country club, but my dad belonged to one, and um, we would be over there all the time, whether it was golfing, whether it was using the, the pool, being, you know, eating dinner in the clubhouse. Golf has always been a uh, common ground between really our, our whole family, so golf for me has been a lot of fun. You know, I, I talk about growing up in a clubhouse in a country club, and you would think I would be a lot better than I am. I actually kind of stink, but uh, I could play a little bit. Being from Chicago, uh, me and my wife both just love going back home and seeing family. And me and Jenna actually met, my wife, we met in high school. We went to prom together. So a lot of our family, a lot of everything is, we live 10 minutes apart, so. I asked her to prom by hiding something under her bed. Now I know it sounds creepy, but at the time, it was very romantic. I hid like, I think it was a poster with flowers and a question that said, you know, would you go to prom with me? So what I did was I called her on the phone and kept hinting towards <laughs> something being under her bed. Now that I'm saying this out loud, it probably wasn't the greatest thing. But yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how I did it. I thought it would be uh, a good surprise. And obviously she said yes and we went to prom together, but. Uh, that was the first time I've ever talked about that story. And saying it out loud, it sounds a little creepy. You gotta always have your clubs ready just in case there's a quick foursome at any time of the day. There's probably like eight or nine guys that are ready to play at any time. It's pretty good. Archie's a good golfer. Taiwan plays. Granky, I'd say, is the best golfer on the team. Carson Kelly's been saying his scores to me every once in a while. I don't even know if I want to play with him. It's too good. <laughs> Without a doubt, the worst part of my golf game, which is why I like to practice a lot. My dad loves to play, loves to play. My brother loves to play. Um, my sister, I bet she would be good. She just never really, never really was big on it growing up. My mom actually is a great golfer and she hasn't played in a little while. I can't even tell you how many times I've tried to beat my dad. And I've only been successful once. And of course he has excuses as to why I beat him. There was another time where I was actually beating him pretty badly and it started to rain. So that, that was washed out. It wasn't a sanctioned game. So there's only been one time where I was able to beat my dad. I don't know, it's just something about playing my dad. Like, I don't know if subconsciously I just don't want to beat him to make him feel bad, but he gets me every time, besides that once. Another thing we love about Arizona too is the views. I mean, just being able to see mountains in the background. Arizona's just really nice. I mean, th this is a place I can definitely see myself living even after baseball's over. You got bread? Oh, we gotta feed the ducks. You cheesing? You cheesing for the camera? Don't get shy in front of the camera now. They're just here to videotape you a little bit. Nice. <laughs> Dookie. Yeah, it's Dookie. Dookie, Dookie the, the duck. duck. It's Dookie the duck. Yeah. Oh, you got some more bread? Where? Where's the bread at? Throw it in there. Oh, he's going for it. He's getting real close now. 
Dookie. 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 Yep. <laughs> we need more bread. More bread? He might be full already. I think you fed him too much. It's a spoiled duck. I don't think this would ever end. It would go on, go on for hours. Oh, we gotta say something about Packy, the fact that he's not here. We wish he was. We miss, we miss, uh, we miss our brother Packy. He couldn't make it with uh, his fiance Nicole, but we wish he was here. Looking at these two, it reminds me of that video on YouTube, the Ouch Charlie. Oh, yeah. Little baby <laughs> starts laughing at him. Ouch, Charlie. <laughs> we, this is for Tori. This guy batted third for me for 10 years, and we were a great team because he batted third. I finally, I, I, I ordered some bats this year, so I actually got my name on my bats. I'm ready to go. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And he it's hit a lot of home runs. The number three. <laughs> that was your number. The three hole. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Casey Robert is a lefty. Oh. Yeah, that's a good thing for baseball, for almost any sport. Casey Robert is a lefty. Right? Well, they say lefties are smarter too. I'm just saying. No, you know that's. Righty. But that's it's known. Yeah. Lefty yeah, said. Right. Yeah, yeah, lefty yeah. said. <laughs> well, you can get a three point six. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Appreciate it. We've been coming here uh, for years, actually. We've been, yeah, okay. This is always our spot. We come up here and have dinner at least once uh, every time my family comes to town. Tyler, are you ready to see the bull? Let's go. Dancing? You dancing? Hee haw! Oh, look at that! It's like the horns of the bull. Thanks for tuning in. Um, at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is family, and uh, I get to spend it with these guys. So, thanks again. See you soon. Say bye, Tyler.